This Texas federal prison has been the hardest hit by COVID-19 to view the full article. Click the first link in the description below. Russ soon got another call. James, a 65-year-old inmate with diabetes and HIV, had tested positive for the virus himself. Within days, he was rushed to a hospital as his oxygen levels plummeted. A few weeks later, after his condition deteriorated and he was placed on a ventilator, he was dead. From the Federal Bureau of Prisons, a stunning three out of every four inmates. So far, three inmates at the prison, including Janetta, had died from COVID-19. As coronavirus has spread rapidly through prisons and jails around the country in recent months, the Texas lockup where Janetta spent his last days has emerged as the hardest-hit federal prison in the United States. More than 1,300 of the roughly 1,750 prisoners at FCI Seagaville Prison and Camp have tested positive for the virus, according to data five Seagaville inmates told CNN in phone interviews from behind bars that they feared for their lives as the virus rushed through the Dallas area prison, and that the crowded conditions made it all but impossible for them to stay socially distanced. It came through here so fast that it's out of control, said Bobby Williams an immunocompromised inmate who has about three years left on a more than two-decade drug sentence. He said he came down with severe pneumonia after contracting COVID-19 in June. We're packed like sardines. The BOP declined repeated requests for an interview with officials at Seagaville or national officials involved in setting coronavirus policy. A spokesperson said the agency distributed cloth masks to every inmate and guard, began mass testing of inmates in the prison by late June and stepped up sanitation procedures, among other policy changes. Since the beginning of May, when there was only a single coronavirus case at Seagaville, the number of inmates who have tested positive has soared to 1,333, according to BOP data, including prisoners at a minimum security camp next to the prison. 28 of the roughly 300 prison rests soon got another call. James, a 65-year-old inmate with diabetes and HIV, had tested positive for the virus himself within days. He was rushed to a hospital as his oxygen levels plummeted to view the full article. Click the first link in the description below.